What's up, y'all? We're checking our trap, and these kids have seen what's in it. I haven't. Y'all are going to see with me. It's, it's a they, wolf. With, they, it's, it's what? It's a wolf, and it's very sick. It's actually a coyote with bad mange. They told me it was a chupacabra, so. It looks like a chupacabra. All right. Let's see. What do we got here in our trap? Don't get close to it. I'm not going to get close to it. You are close to it. If that ain't a chupacabra, I don't know what is. It's actually a coyote with mange. When they said it was a chupacabra, I figured it was something with no hair. It has little hair. Yeah, but that hair. We got to stay back. He will bite. Uh -huh. He looks very scared. That's what he is. He's a coyote with mange. That's the last thing I would want to catch. Looks like it has skin damage on the forehead right there. He does. Look at those eyes. We should let it those go. Those are some pretty green eyes. Yeah, he's got mange, so he's a coyote. We've got to decide if we're going to let him go, if we're going to, what we're going to do with him. But, um... We have to let him go. You didn't bring your gun. We're going to let him go. I don't know. It's an interesting creature. So, just to let y'all know, I built this trap. Wow, I didn't know that. You didn't know I built the trap? Nope, I didn't. Yeah, I want to show people how it works. Well, there's the front door right there. And these things, they fall down and lock when something steps on that trip plate. And so this cage in the back is for chicken, chickens. But what I did was I put a, a dead squirrel in there. Dad... And that was good enough bait to lure Dad, this. Dad, we would have never caught that coyote without all that bait. You're right. He wanted to eat that bait. So he is shivering because he doesn't have enough hair and it is cold out here. But I've never caught any. I've never caught a coyote before in a trap, much less a hairless coyote with mange. Yeah. We caught a chupacabra, folks. Uh -huh. An original chupacabra. O.C. Original it's a, Chupacabra. It's a coyote. <clears throat> but it's cool to call it a Chupacabra. Yeah. I'm gonna go back. He is not happy. Man. Poor thing. He will bite us, though. We really gotta stay back. Like, if you were to stick your finger in there, he would bite you and you could get rabies. Mm -hmm. Like, you'd have to go through a series of rabies shots. His eyes are beautiful, though. Mm -hmm. He smells like a dog. I thought that he would be a bit bigger. I thought that coyotes were a bit bigger. Yeah, I thought he would be bigger, too. He may be young, kind of. I, I don't know. He's skinny. You know, he's clearly out of shape. He's not healthy. The mange has caused him to have all kinds of problems, and he's just, he's not a normal coyote, he's well, a chupacabra. No wonder I've been seeing lots of coyote tracks around here. Yeah, you're right, we have seen lots of coyote tracks, and it's good we, we've got him because we do have young calves on the property, and something this injured and unhealthy might go for a baby calf, so. It's a male, I can tell that it's a male, whatever it is. Is it young? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm not a coyote expert. Never mind. All right. Well, I'm going to conclude the video. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye.